Hello everybody, Bruce here with a short video on something called F strings. F is in Fred or Frank. And by now you probably have gone through the string formatting stuff and you're like, hmm, not too sure about that stuff. So in Python version 3.6, I believe we're on Python version 3.74 now. That's the one we're using in class and future classes that number will probably have changed by the time you're watching this video. But I wanted to show you how you can use F strings to make your job as a Python developer easy, especially when it comes to printing out long strings, or short strings for that matter, that contain variables. Okay? So on lines one through four, I have some outstanding variables. First name equals Bruce, last name equals Elgort, course equals CTEC space 121, and age equals 56. Now, on line 6, I have something, a variable called message, an equal sign, and now you see this purple F there. You see that? It may not be purple in your Visual Studio Code. My theme may be a little bit different. But then I have a, a quotation there, a single quote, and inside of that F string, I have the name of the instructor for, and then I have these curly braces, and then the variable name, course. So the name of the instructor for CTEC 121 is, and then more um, curly braces. These are like what we call placeholders. And inside of there, I want the first name variable to be placed, which is Bruce. And then a space, and then last name, which is Elgort. And then and, he is, and then the age variable, 56 years old. How easy is that? And then I can just do this right here, print message, and then it'll print out. In fact, let me just run it so you can see it. And you can see it right down here. The name of the instructor for CTEC 121 is Bruce Elgort, and he is 56 years old. Let me just, oh, my alerts are off. Good. All right. So what else can you do? Well, you could just put print like this. Check this out. Um, I could just do, I'm going to just make a copy of this statement here. I'm going to take this here, and I'm going to say, that and get rid of the assignment and just put print just like that and put a closing paren or parenthesis over there and we are good to go the code right if i if i run it in fact let me just comment out this print down here on line 11 right click run python file in terminal and there it is it's the same thing okay f strings f strings now some of you are saying what happens if, say, Bruce had an apostrophe in his uh, last name? So instead of last name Elgort like that, let's just say I need it to be like this. So right away, I have to put this right in double quotes like that. And now you can see here, check this out, ready? Run Python file and terminal uh, is Bruce. And you see how it put the apostrophe in there? Do you see that right there? Okay, so that's one way you could do it. The other way you could do it, right, is if we went back to the single quotes here, whoops, the single quotes, we could put a back, whoops, we could put a back, uh, I can't type today, a backslash there, which will escape out, as we say, that character there, which means it, the computer will literally take that character and it won't make it a delimiter like we have with the single quotes. Okay, ready? So there it is too, there it is. So that's F strings, a real simple way for you to inject variables, right, into strings, okay, into strings. So one other thing, because there's always one more thing, right? What happens if you wanted to do something like this? Check this out, uh, uh, before, I, before I go on. Um, the other thing you'll notice, right, if you just use a simple print, you don't have to use commas, or plus signs, literally. All that stuff that I taught you week one and week two, um, we have better ways to do it. Now, 
this uh, is not perfect, F strings that is, are not perfect. In fact, I'm going to include a link to an article which you can study, uh, which will tell you, you know, certain things where you may not want to use F strings, all right? So my last F string stuff is I'm just going to comment out that and comment out that. See, I got to be careful here. So I have to just highlight it all and then hit uh, the comment thing. Yeah, there you go. So could I do this? Could I say print? Uh, and then I'm going to have an F string in there. Bruce is really. And then take the number 2 and multiply it times the variable age, which is an integer. What's going to come out there now? Let's let's do this. Let's 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 do that. Okay, let's run this. Here we go. This is going to be scary because this is my real age. It says Bruce is really 112, right? So I was able to do some mathy stuff inside of this F string here, all right? Well, I hope this video helped. Um, there's a lot to know about F strings. Actually, there's string formatting and F strings. I prefer F strings, all right, because they're new. Um, and this is the first quarter I'm really teaching them. In fact, another student started using them uh, in week uh, week one or two, and I, I was uh, I was blown away. It was good stuff. All right, that's all I got. That's all I have. If you have any questions, find me on Slack. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.